So I'm just going to start with, um, please state your name and your role with the council. My name is Chris Egan, and I'm the Executive Director of the North Carolina Council on Developmental Disabilities. Great. So, uh, Chris, as you know, March is Developmental Disabilities Awareness yes. Month. So what does being DD aware mean to you? Well, it's an important opportunity for people with all different abilities, and for us in particular, intellectual and other developmental disabilities, to be recognized and for folks to uh, pay more attention to diversity in community and the importance of diversity in community. Absolutely. Our communities really are stronger when everyone is included. And for many, many years, we've been moving from really a separated approach and really moving people out of sight back in to their communities in ways that all can contribute and have opportunity. And we know that that's what makes our community stronger, as I, as I mentioned earlier, is diversity and inclusion and differences. And we're all different. Everyone has different abilities. Those all should be celebrated. So this is our opportunity in March to really recognize the impact that all people have on their community, in particular those with intellectual and other developmental disabilities. Absolutely. So jobs, um, gaining assets or earning a paycheck, what does that do for folks? Well, it means that you're involved in some way that contributes. And, and working really is one of the most important outcomes for anyone. And it provides avenues then for additional choices, where you might live, uh, it, uh, connecting to other people, so expanding your relationships. We're working on three major priorities with the council that I think uh, really will have a major impact in the lives of people with intellectual and developmental disabilities, and that is really focusing on financial asset security, which is about jobs and good transition in school, high expectations for all people. We know that high expectations for all kids means they strive to do more. Um, kids that are uh, involved in integrated classroom, meaning they have different experiences and they see the world as it is, are going to make friends with each other. Kids make friends. Does it matter the disability? No. They're attracted to one another, like interests, which means you're starting at an early age understanding that there's benefit and strength to this kind of diversity. And along the way, the expectations are the same. You may need different supports to get there, but we all do. So then we look at transition from school, maybe grade school, into community college or university, and to the job. So I think this is our opportunity, March, to focus on that. Community living options, meaning relationships, being able to get around, accessing, good health, and again, high expectations for people. And the third major area we'll focus on is leadership development, so that people with disabilities have uh, an opportunity to speak up and have an impact on our system and in their communities and on changing policy. And involves our stakeholders as well, other people involved in their lives. And, um, and I'm looking at all this noise on my video. Oh, no, no, no. That's, That's okay. So Can you, you'll be able to make a cut there and maybe start yeah. again? Yeah. All right. So let's start again with the third option. That's where you started with okay. the leadership. So, and so, our, go. so our, our third major goal, which will have several objectives, has to do with people with disabilities, intellectual and other developmental disabilities, expanding their leadership role and presence to help impact their communities, make change there regarding the Americans with Disabilities Act. And it's not just about access, it's about being engaged and participating and taking part in your community and, and strengthening and adding to your community. But it's those around them as well, family members, um, teachers, um, uh, policy makers, anyone. But there's another leadership opportunity, so it's really three prompt: the individual, the family, and others that are interested and involved. That's how we'll make a difference in expanding awareness, which March is a part of, but it should be all year long, but we have an opportunity to focus on that, uh, and continuing to make change. And that's our hope, that over the next five years, in those three main areas of asset development and uh, community living options and advocacy, that together they'll work to increase opportunities for independence, inclusion, productivity for people, and self-determination, and make our communities better. So if we were talking about communities, and so tell me, how will people without disabilities can be more DD aware as you continue your work for the ID community? That's a great question. 
One is um, step back for a moment and maybe reflect on your own preconceived notions about disability. There are many stereotypes exist, and that can sometimes get ahead of who the person really is. So challenge yourself on what your stereotypes and your own fears may be. Uh, you may see someone, you don't understand what the disability is, or maybe a person stands out in a way. Let's not assume that that person's not capable. Let's, let's first know that they are. And figure out who that person is first, and, uh, and how unique they are, how interesting they are, before making a determination to steer clear or uh, believe they're not capable. Absolutely. And what kind of opportunities, you did list the three pronged, three prongs of opportunities, but what kind of opportunities would you like to see happen in North Carolina for people with um, IDD? Well, I, I think the path we're on right now, we have an opportunity. We're, we're moving into, there's a lot of attention right now by the General Assembly and by policymakers on how should services and supports be delivered. And I think there is an opportunity there to take a look, become more educated about that and to do a better job with limited resources to try to be sure we're addressing the most important needs but also providing a way for people to take more charge and to expand their own resources and thus options. Like all that, I think there's a big opportunity for all of that and to keep moving forward in that fashion Great. in North Carolina. And if you could tell the people of North Carolina one thing about the disability community and their abilities, what would you say? I'd say that no one's broken. Everyone's a person. Disability is a natural part of who we are as human beings. So focus on the person and their unique capabilities. Find out their name before we just use a disability label ahead of who they are. Anything else you'd like to add? I think um, we're available to answer questions, browse our website. We have lots of great information. And, uh, and as a council, we're interested in your thoughts and your input. So please reach out. We'd love to hear from you. Perfect.